The Bible says, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men came from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who is born king of the Jews? We have seen a star in the east and have come to worship him. It's amazing how God used the heavens, how God often declared who he was through the sky. The Bible says, saying, where is he who was born king of the Jews? For we've seen his star. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. So they said to him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written, God not only has made his son known in the sky, God has made his son known in the scriptures. We can deny the revelation of the heavens, or we can deny the revelations of his word, but God is making himself known. But to you, Bethlehem, and the land of Judah are not the least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had secretly called the wise men, determined from them what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the young child, and when you have found him, bring word to me that I may come and worship him also. When they heard the king, they departed, and behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And the Bible says, and when they had come into the house, they saw the young child would marry his mother, fell down and worshiped him, and they opened their treasures, and they presented the gifts to him, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. You know, I love to take a text, circle words, and just begin to say, what is God saying? And here's what God is saying to me. God is saying, I'm going to declare who I am in the heavens. I'll use the sky, I will display a message through a star. I will remind them that for hundreds of years I've said that I'm coming and these are the signs of the arrival of the Messiah. And then I will give them an inspired writing to scriptures and I just want to say thank God for my Bible, thank God for the scriptures, and God has declared the message of Christmas in the scriptures. But the fullest and final revelation of God, because God desires to be made known, is in his son, the Lord Jesus. They did not worship the star, and they did not worship the sky, but they worshiped the Son of God. Billy Graham said, Jesus was born into the family of man that you and I might be born again into the family of God. In Bible history, we read many accounts of God making himself known to his creation. I love the writer of Hebrews, and in chapter 1 and verse 1 he says, God, who at various times, or in all different times, and in various ways, spoke in times past uh, to the fathers by the prophets, but he's in these last days, he's spoken to us by his Son, whom he's appointed heir of all things, though whom also, listen to this, his Son made the worlds, who being the brightness of God's glory, the express image of God's person, and upholding all things by the word of his power. Actually saying that the world tonight is in the control of the hands of the Son of God. And the Bible says when he had by himself purged our sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty of God on high. At various times, in various ways, God has made himself known. He spoke to Moses through a burning bush. Occasionally someone will talk about having a burning bush experience. The Israelites followed a God who provided a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. The Bible teaches that God used animals to speak to people and to get others' attention. He used a donkey to speak to a prophet by the name of Balaam. He used a great fish to speak and to minister into the life of a prophet by the name of Jonah. 
He used a rooster to remind Peter that the words Christ spoke were real indeed. In my own life, God has spoken to me through the years, through the Word of God. He's spoken to me through the Spirit of God. He's spoken into my life by the Son of God. He has spoken to me by others. God has spoken into my life by circumstances. You can't help but go back and say, when did all this begin? And it really began when God spoke to me through a carpenter at a drink machine in Jacoby Hardware when I was 20 years old in W. Pridgen and invited me to church and told me that God loved me. And then when Janet and I showed up at church a couple of weeks later, God chose to speak through a man, Pastor Emmy Gibson, Eugene Gibson, and he gave the gospel, and I was converted to faith in Jesus Christ. His wife is still living. And so I stick with the same theme I've been in for three weeks, and I just briefly want to make a few comments about do you see what I see and do you hear what I hear? Whether you see it in the skies or whether you hear it in the Word or see it in the Word or whether you hear it in the sun. God witnessed in the sky. In the passage I read, we see the Lord leading, speaking, directing through a star. In the Old Testament and in the New Testament, the word star is oftentimes used figuratively to represent a great brilliance or radiance. In Numbers 24 in verse 17, the Messiah, when God prophesies that he is going to send one to, to deliver the people of their sins, he's spoken of as a star that shall come out of Jacob. In the New Testament, Revelations chapter 22 and verse 16, the Bible refers to Jesus Christ as the bright and the morning star. It is surely the glory of God blazing, as it were, an extremely bright light. God is making himself known. It's not a dim light hid under a bushel, no. It's the blazing glory of God that is being made known in the heavens. When I read this text, I thought of Psalm chapter 19, and the Bible says, the heavens declare the glory of God, nor is it manifest his character and his nature. The firmament show his handiwork. Day unto day utters speech. The night unto night reveals knowledge. There's no speech or language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words, their words, to the ends of the earth. It's the same, though God is saying, if you'll look up into the heavens at night, God is speaking. And the faithfulness of how God speaks. You see, the testimony of the universe comes forth consistently and clearly, but sinful mankind persistently resist it. For this reason, general revelation is not what God uses to convert sinners. I've never heard anyone say, I looked up into the sky and saw a star and was converted. But it does make them highly accountable. God has spoken in creation through the heavens. God has spoken into our conscience that he's placed within our life. But God speaks mostly into our lives by his Son. So salvation ultimately comes through special revelation. That is the Word of God, which is effectively applied by the Spirit of God. God used a star, and it served as a guiding star. And it also served, once they found the Christ child, a gladdening star. God witnesses through the skies. God witnesses through the heavens. But God witnessed through the Scriptures. In Matthew chapter 1, just one chapter back from where I read, the Scripture makes this statement. It says, And she shall bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. So all of this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. 